New York has been extremely generous to me. Um, you know, I, I have family here. I've been coming here since '77 when the Elvis died and the, the blackout here. So it feels like a second home almost. Well, it couldn't be more urgent, unfortunately. I mean, look, I mean, this movie would have been um, relevant at any time. It seems we never seem to learn from our past, but more than ever, it seems like uh, now is a, a perfect time for this film to come out. It's not about familiarity, it's about human beings in, in, in a war zone. So I think, you know, people who care about people who are in danger, um, you know, it's, it's, it's irrelevant for anyone. It doesn't have, it's not about being familiar with a particular period in time. It's about sort of being an understanding of who we are as humans and seeing war through a child's eyes and hopefully refocusing our gaze. So she's exceptional, as we all know. I mean, such an amazing actress, um, amazing artist. And working with um, Elliot, I mean, again, Elliot is eight years old when he came on, nine years old when he started the film. He never acted before in, in, in his life. So, there, so therefore, it's, it's one of those weird things where um, things we just came together because she took him under her wing. She was nine years old when she started uh, being an actress. So there was this love, this thing that sort of precipitate it to one another, so it was, it was beautiful. I actually first spoke with Steve about it quite a few years ago uh, before he shot the film and he had told me early on about how he wanted there to be a lot of original songs as well as authentic researched pieces in the movie and um, as we sort of progressed through the process uh, when we were getting to writing a, a lot of the original songs I immediately thought of reaching out to Tara Stinson, uh, because we've worked together many times now, actually, yeah. mm -hmm. and Tara has an incredible facility and gift for, uh, for music and for lyrics, and uh, we love working together. Yes. And so that's kind of how, uh, I think that's how, that's how it yeah. came to you. A, <laughs> he, he's how it came to me. <laughs> um, Nick is awesome, and we work so well together. We speak the same language. We have, like, so many of the same interests, and whenever yeah. he says, like, this is going to be great, I know it's going to be great. <laughs> And so um, his name is Nicholas Bertel, but he's my Broltel. <laughs> <laughs>I know that Winter Coat was like very sentimental to so Steve and being like when his, um, he had a family member and he wrapped himself in a coat for that memory. And so that kind of, I think, was our, our, our starting, um, our, our goal post, you know, to make sure to evoke those emotions. And, um, and then, of course, like the, the time period. And Nick was like very, he's a, a very specific with me, like, and, it's, and so you can't miss. It's like, these are the, these are the, the goals that we're making. And then you just go after it. And for for it to just be emotional and and also a song that could be um, performed and like from that time, yes. it was like wouldn't you say it's just like yeah yeah I mean I think there's there's a feeling through the whole movie that these songs you know what's the role of songs in human life and especially I think in a challenging time like the Blitz one of the things that Steve was always talking about was you know music serves these very important roles of like it sort of helps us persevere through tragedy. Uh, but it's also a bomb for the heart and soul, and so I think there was an element of that idea that this song is about someone imagining their loved one who isn't there. Sersha was incredible. We, uh, Steve and I started working on it actually at Abbey Road. Uh, we, you know, I sketched the initial ideas, and then uh, I reached out to Tara, and we started putting together a fuller um, structure for it. And then when we presented it to Sersha, you know, um, she almost immediately responded to it, and I think that was really uh, heartening because, you know, you never, it's, since it's a new song and, you know, no one ever sung it before, you know, you're asking yourself, you know, does the song work? <laughs> does it feel good for her? And she was so fantastic to collaborate with. I think there was this whole process where uh, she took to the song very quickly, and then her voice is so beautiful. To be connected with uh, Steve and Nick, it's just like how it, what a what a dream, and, you know. And that's the biggest takeaway that I have for myself is that Nick is a continuing bucket list that I have always want to check, and to, and Steve is is one is my first, you know, uh, time working with him. So it was just that, and um, that for me personally.
We worked a lot at Abbey Road, which is always a dream to be there. That studio is so incredible. Um, but it was very much like the process of being in the room and figuring these things out. Um, and then in those similar studio spaces, watching it actually come alive. So both the, the writing and then actually the performance and recording and feeling it uh, come alive was something that, you know, I think that's what we're all, as artists, I think that's what we're all, yeah. you know, aiming for is those kinds of experiences where you create things and then you see them, you know, yeah. you, they sort the of... The paper uh, to the yeah. camera is like a, it's just yes. a dream. Yeah. yeah. Throughout human history, you know, unfortunately there has been great tragedy, but I think watching a film like Blitz, you get a sense that humans do persevere uh, through these trials and tribulations. And I think one of the things that Steve was really going for was to show the way in which humans persevere and to show that, um, that art is also there for us uh, in times of challenges.